hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see that how to implement queue using link list so uh, i think you know all about queue that uh, a queue basically operates on fifo operation first in first out basically whenever any person enter or any element enter at first it always out at first right so basically in queue we have four basic operations we have n queue means inserting element then d queue when we uh, delete any when we delete remove any element then we have the get front when we want to retrieve the front element of list and then we want to retrieve any rear element right so these four operations basically we do in queue so uh, in my previous tutorial i implemented queue using array so you can see that tutorial where i have clearly explained how to implement queue using array right and in this tutorial our main focus will be on link list so let's say uh, this is my link list right so what i will do i will keep two nodes two pointers basically the first pointer and the last pointer right so the last pointer will always have the information about the last pointer you can say last node of the link list and the first will always have the first node of the link list so whenever whenever i want to have the front node i will return the first node whenever i want to get the last node i will return the last node now whenever i want to insert so what i will do i will create a new node and i will point that node to the last node and then i will put last node equal to that node right so whenever i will insert i will keep updating the last node which will be the new node and whenever i will remove the whenever i will remove any node so i will keep on incrementing first node so let's say if first was here right if first was here so after removing the first will point to this one then first will point to this one and when first will point to here so i will say now there is nothing to remove right because queue is empty so we'll see all these operations you have got the basic funda now we'll see how to implement this so now let's see uh, this is my so what i've done this is my first this is my basic uh, queue linked list implementation class this is my main class so from where i will operate the functions so now this is my queue linked class so in queue linked class i have put all the all the functions which i will implement and then this is my node so basically node is just a linked list node right so in node i have the one data which is the element data and the next which is pointer right so uh, let's start with the insert inserting element and then we'll keep on learning that what other functions are okay so this is i have created an instance of queue linked class and then i'm calling insert and i'm inserting 12 so let's see and let's start with debug so first of all let me tell you that uh, i have taken the node uh, the temp variable which is the first variable first which is last and both are of node type and the size so basically it it just a size variable uh, you you might want to fetch the size of a linked list the size of a queue at any time so you can just return the size Uh, variable and then you will have the size so whenever i will uh, insert an element i will increase the size uh, increase the size variable and whenever i will remove i will decrease the size variable right so that i will have the current count of q always so uh, this this was my first element so i am telling because at the first my both first and last are null right so i am saying that if my last equals to null it means my empty my q is empty right now right so if last is null so first and last and create a new node so it will go in create a new node so create a new node means it will simply create a node so first of all it will uh, we have that node class so it will take the instance it will insert the value it will insert next equal to null and return a right and and guys if you want to learn about linked list so you can see my tutorial on linked list i have around 23 tutorials 23 problems on linked list where in first tutorial i have seen i have shown how can i create a linked list so you can go there and you can learn about linked list but for now uh, 
I will assume that you know about linked list. So here I have created a new node and I have uh, made first and last and both both are pointing to the new node. So now I am also increasing the size and I am returning. So that's it. Now second element will go there and in second element now last is not null. So it will improve the size and it will say last of next it should be the new node. So I'll create a new node and I will point last of next to this one and then I will update last equal to last dot next. Right. So now if you see, so you can see the last the last is two and the first is still pointing to the first node. Right. And similarly it will insert all the element. So after inserting you can see the last is pointing to the 80 and the first is pointing to the still the first node where all next and next and next are pointing to the other nodes till 80 right so now i want to check what is the size of link list the size of q so it will simply return size because i am storing the value in size variable so you can see size equal to 6 now i want to check that what is the front node so first of all i will simply check that if my queue is empty or not so i will check if last equals to null it means my empty is my queue is empty it will return true else it will false so right now queue is not empty so it will return first data which is 12 right so my it which is 12 so it is and front front node is still the first node right now rear so i will first so i will check if queue is empty then return queue is empty nothing at rear and this is what this is simply integrated minimum value so when you when you want to show that there is nothing you can simply return integrated minimum value right and so it will return false then last data because because the uh, because the last is always at the last so i will simply return the last of data and now guys uh, so this was about get rear so you can see the get rear 80 now let's see i want to remove a element so it will go here first it will check that if q is empty so q is not empty so it will first of all decrease the size then it will store that what is the first dot value so like it is 12 right now so then i will uh, then I will link from first to the next node right and now why this is condition this condition is because when there will be only one node so in that case the first and last will be pointing to same node and when I am removing that single node so first will be null and if first will be null so I want to set the last equal to also null because if first equal to null it means there is nothing at all in the link list in the queue so i am setting last equal to also null so this is not a case right now so i am returning t which is 12 right and if, if you want to check again what is the position right now so you can see the sizes the sizes become 5 now the front has become 2 because 12 has been removed so front is 12 and rear is still 80 right now i want now i am inserting 81 so let's insert it t1 again check so now size has become 6 front is again 2 and rear is 81 now right now i mean removing one by one so first of all it will remove at the first two element now 7 now 27 now 18 now 80 and now at the last 81 right and now at the last it will say because the queue is empty so it will say nothing to remove and remove the element is so it just for integer dot minimum value all right so guys uh, that's how we have implemented q using link list and you can see that the complexity of each function is big of one because nowhere nowhere we are traversing the whole link list we are we are just because we have we are using the nodes first and last and uh, by using first alert we are able to fetch in big of one in single operation insertion also we were able to do in big of one then then if empty 
yes we were able to do in big of one because we have the last node then in remove also at the, we are just getting the first value and then we are linking from first to the next value similarly for the get size get front get rear so all operations we are doing in big of n and this is i guess the best complexity right so that's it guys for this video we have seen how to implement queue using linked list and it's a very easy but important function which is used in many big operations so thanks and uh, if you have any questions on it then please write out in comments else if you have got your answer if you have understood the concept then please like the video and subscribe the channel for more such problems thank you